And there's another problem with what that chart shows. Paleoclimatologist Ian Clark, one of the men behind the ice core temperature and CO2 data, shows the big problem with Mr. Gore's contention that CO2 drives temperature up. So here we're looking at the ice core record from Vostok, and in the red we see temperature going up from early time to later time at a very key interval when we came out of a glaciation. And we see the temperature going up, and then we see the CO2 coming up. CO2 lags behind that increase. It's got an 800 year lag. So temperature is leading CO2 by 800 years. CO2 clearly cannot be causing temperature changes. It's a product of temperature. It's following temperature changes. This is it, the basic scientific failure in the Al Gore IPCC global warming case. From ice cores to the complicated, elaborate, multi-billion dollar research projects and computer models of the IPCC, they have totally failed to make a valid, provable case that carbon dioxide is a significant greenhouse gas. Therefore, there is no significant man-made global warming now there hasn't been any in the past, and there is no reason to fear any significant man-made global warming in the future. I am not alone in reaching this conclusion. Let me introduce five scientists to you who are renowned for their views. Lord Christopher Monckton, he was the scientific advisor to former British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher and is now chief policy advisor for SPPI, the Science and Public Policy Institute. The father of global warming debunkers, atmospheric physicist Dr. Fred Singer, a professor emeritus of the University of Virginia. Richard Linson, Ph.D., an atmospheric physicist and the Alfred P. Sloan Professor of Meteorology at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Willie Soon, Ph.D., an astrophysicist at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics. And Joseph DeLeo, a certified consulting meteorologist a fellow of the American Meteorological Society, first director of meteorology at the Weather Channel, and now the founder and president of IceCap.us. I ask each of these distinguished scientists what proof they have that we should not fear the impact of CO2 on our climate. In the period of warming between roughly 1980 and 2000, that 20 years of warming, which everybody is so excited about, which is not an unprecedented rate of warming or an unprecedented length of time of warming. It's perfectly normal. But that's the period everybody says is to do with humans. And yet, and this is in the peer-reviewed literature, five and a half times as much warming during that period of 20 years was caused by a reduction in cloud cover, letting more of the sunlight down onto the surface of the Earth, than was caused by all of the greenhouse gases of mankind added together over that period. It is the question of what is the cause of global warming when there is a warming. Don't forget that the climate keeps changing on its own Without any human assistance, it warms and it cools, and it warms and it cools. And in fact, during the 20th century, from 1940 to 1975, the climate cooled. And during the 21st century, that is since the beginning of this century, for the last 10 years, there hasn't been a warming trend. So the climate uh, doesn't behave the way in which the greenhouse models predict. So the evidence, I think, is that while the climate is variable, there are bounds to it, and uh, the system itself overall is quite robust. I've been studying both the sun and the earth climate system for the past 20 years, and my concern, especially with regard to the role of uh, carbon dioxide causing global warming and climate change, is indeed that most of the alarm, most of the alarming uh, aspect of, of carbon dioxide causing all this disastrous effect are uh, indeed uh, do not have any strong scientific uh, supports. But mainly I, I look at temperatures and I uh, look at temperatures from World War II, the beginning of the Industrial uh, Revolution. And if you look at temperatures from 1947, late 40s to, to uh, the late 70s, uh, temperatures globally cooled. Uh, from 1979 to 1998, we saw a warming. Uh, then it leveled off, and since 2001, uh, temperatures globally have cooled again. 
That means in five of the last seven decades, uh, the temperatures have declined even as CO2 has risen. If these highly educated and respected professors are correct, and I have every reason to believe that they are, then Al Gore and the UN IPCC are wrong. That's an amazing case of science gone bad. And this program will make news as we report new evidence that the primary climate centers in the United States are manipulating data. This as ClimateGate comes home to the U.S. government. Now, before we go to break, let's have some fun and test your knowledge on global warming. Heather Moore has the first of several global warming questions for you. Thanks, John. We're going to start with a twofer for you. That's two questions, but they are both related. Here we go. Question number one, global warming is real. Earth's temperature is rising. Is that true or is it false? And the next question, also a true or false question, the greenhouse effect is real. Now, here's a hint. Both have the same answer. In other words, they're both true or they're both false. 